I'm going to have this as a separate video to like everything else I've done but I'm going to talk about Hull and Edge Park or the Rex as a lot of people call it and uh, it seems to be the case like it's not just me it's not just my parents but quite a lot of people, other people think it it's quite a neglected park in the sense that it doesn't really look nice like when you go to other parks the parks look really nice but here like I'll just point to it like here this all used to be a few months ago or like even at the start of the year or even the end of last year or like real nice plants and flowers and it looked really cool if it looked really nice and then like all the way up there like all the way up there so like every bit was covered in uh, nice flowers it looked really pretty it looked really nice it looked like a really nice park but the problem is now, okay, it is dry and we're going through one of the hottest like periods of this year so it, it is dry but the thing is it looks not really like a park it just looks quite neglected and run down and etc so like I'll show you the centrepiece of the park now my mum took a picture of the centre pit last year and then compared a picture of it to this year and it's such a big difference like like so like you've got weeds there's people just throwing rubbish on the floor and just leaving it it doesn't look very park like it looks just like it's being abandoned and left to be forgotten about people still use it which is the thing but <laughs> it's like just gonna film this Get down, screw one up the tree, the dogs are there. Uh, it's okay Chester, it's alright. So yeah, the idea is it's quite scruffy and it's quite neglected. I'll show you bits around the park just to show you what I'm on about. So for example, like there's loads of there's litter here. And it's not just here, it's scattered across the whole park. At the start of the year, all this bit and a little bit further, all like going all the way further along, was full of uh, nice flowers like yellows and pinks and really nice for German, like for the bees actually, because bees use the pollen from flowers to, yeah. <laughs> uh, but like, now look at it now, it just looks, it looks sad because. I remember at the start of the year when my mum and dad came up here with the dogs and me as well taking pictures of the dogs and how nice it looked and now you look at this now and it just looks I don't want to swear but it looks crap it really does it's just it's just a shame like I grew I live here like I, I don't live in this park but I live quite close by and pe a lot of people use this park so it's sad to see this park go to what it is <laughs> my dogs are running off now so as you can see it looks how it looks so like I'll just walk around so like again just full of weeds litter doesn't look very appealing then this one my dogs are right down there some flowers left what do you know? I was in about this earlier. Someone's left a stone there. <laughs> so it looks unappealing, it doesn't look very nice. Shed load of weeds. Weeds in that one. But I find that. <laughs> I was literally saying to myself earlier, you don't find these anymore. Well, I've just found one. So. That's my video on how, in my opinion, I think the park looks neglected. I mean, I would think that my video footage would show it, but uh, who knows? It, it would, anyway. Uh, so, what can be done? Uh, people, if people care about where they live, uh, they would, like, improve the area, like, make it look nice and, like, pick up rubbish and not litter there are 
there are four bins on this park on this bit anyway and on that other bit there are more I uh, don't exactly know the exact count number but there are four on this bit that I'm on now so if you love where you live you would care for where you live and make it look nice and etc uh, so like the council can get involved I think my mum wants to set up a page like something like Maple and Edge Park are great again I don't think it's going to be worded like that but you know but yeah like if you want to I guess if you want to just get involved really just get off your own cord and go make an impact in a good way so uh, I hope that wasn't too cheesy I'm sweating like hell the previous video I did to this I accidentally just a little a little swear word came out so I was like I better record it again because if this is going to be watched by adults, children etc and I'm swearing it's not very really that good so doing this again so I'm Jimmy Hudson like, comment, subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you soon goodbye